Welcome to Cooking for Baby and Me. I'm Lauren Rabin. On today's show, we're featuring oatmeal. Chef, what are we making today? Steel cut oatmeal, longer cooking time, mm -hmm. a lot longer cooking time. And you can avoid that by doing some prior steps, which okay. I'm gonna show you how to do. So you just take boiling water. Okay. Okay, you pour your boiling water over your steel cut oats. So the raw oats? You could just cover it. Oh, okay. Leave for a couple hours. It really oh, okay. helps with like achieving a much softer texture. Nice breakfast that has protein fiber. Get you going in the morning. Mm -hmm. Last throughout the day. Yeah. It seems to be a uh, choice that a lot of kids love. My grandson, he literally eats oatmeal every single day. The other thing, we're gonna try to work in some vegetables into the children's. Put a little okay. bit in there. That's for the adults. And put some into the, the kids whole thing? too. Just half and uh, half. Yeah, let's do half and half. That's okay. fine. You see, I have some chopped broccoli here. We're gonna add into it. So if you want to put some of that into there, I'll mm -hmm. take that. Let's see how we do it. And what about here. some seasoning for the kids? Can sure. you add salt and pepper? I think yeah. so, yep. Because we're going to be seasoning for the oatmeal too. Okay. So, you know, you can always add more at the end. Okay. You want to go ahead and put your carrots, carrots in the doctor? In. Yep, throw your carrots in for the kids. And how important are veggies in um, prenatal patients, postnatal? Incredibly to important. These women to we live in a world of processed food, so if you can be cooking with fresh, healthy vegetables, you get your nutrients in addition to, you're taking a prenatal vitamin, but it's much better and you absorb it better if you get it right from your food. Right, okay. Put your peas in there. Okay. Gorgeous, that's so colorful too. Yep. Mm -hmm. For the kids' food, now you can add chicken stock, you can add water, it's not really, you know, if you don't want to use chicken stock, veg stock, uh, okay. veg broth. Right, so if you're a vegetarian, you okay. can use veggie broth, yep. water, easy, right. For the parents' oatmeal, we're going to be um, serving it with some beef short rib. I trimmed off some of the fat after I cooked them, okay, and we'll just add in a couple, little bit of additional seasoning to them. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and sear them right in the pan, get a little collar on them. Oh. Put butter in the pan, and there you go, the beef's gone. I'm going to put some of the par cooked oatmeal into the okay. into mm -hmm. the parents' food. Now this, this is nutrient this is good. dense, and, and it's very it's flavorful nice and nice for texture. rice. And rice doesn't have a ton of nutritional value. No, so. no it doesn't. Actually, when you go down to the white rice, there's not much left. Put our oatmeal into our kids' food. Okay. 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 You can turn our beef over. Oh, oh, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So sorry. Yeah, you gotta be careful with the heat. It's always tilt away from you. We're gonna finish the mom and dad's oatmeal with a little bit of basil. Basil's a nice herb to use in any kind of risotto type of thing, mm -hmm, or a, mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna put some Parmesan into oh, the, that into the so good. parents' risotto. Beautiful. I also brought a nice secret ingredient, which is truffle oil. Okay, and this is nice and tender too. You can see once you sear it, it gets, you know, oh, the tenderness right. kind of comes out. It's real nice and like- Looks juicy. Like juicy yeah, and yeah. tender, it has great flavor to it. Gorgeous. Yep. And this looks really easy to make. Yeah, this looks great. And you can drizzle this with a little balsamic vinegar or balsamic reduction. Mm -hmm. Or balsamic glaze, a little sweeter. Yep. Yeah. It's Let's a great idea. Put both pieces in one. just like this. Oh, oh my doesn't goodness. Doesn't look like oatmeal at all. And this is a great variation for lunch as well instead of a sandwich mm -hmm. or chips or well, this is you can, can put take a little and warm up at container. Yeah. yeah. All right, who's first? Let's just all dough in yeah. together. Uh, ladies first. <laughs> this looks great. It looks very tasty and healthy. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. I'm very yes. excited for this one. I'm going in. So let's go. Yeah. And the meat just falls apart. Yeah, this looks oh, great. It's so a great tender. combination. And the oatmeal, you'd never know yeah. it's oatmeal. Great it looks just like rice. Yeah. Mm. That's great. That is delicious. Mm. Really, really good. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> well, I feel energized and full of energy from all this oatmeal. Mm. Thank you so You're much, welcome. Chef. Thank you. And doctor for joining me today on Cooking for Baby. Thanks for having me.